drop, gonna drop. So you, you were mentioning that, you know, you weren't allowed to listen to hip hop growing up. And I'm assuming, you know, you're growing up in the Bay. All your friends are listening to hip hop. It's like the most popular genre, you know, at that time or one of them. Well, this is the thing is so they took they um, I went to a private Christian school up until fourth grade. And then after that, my parents took us out of that private Christian school and they had their own school. So that was when I started doing that self-taught curriculum. So I didn't really have like I my, the friends that I had from when I was in kindergarten, I no longer had. So the, the people that I started to befriend were the kids that were in the program. But those kids would come and go. So it was like I never really had like a friend that stayed around for a long time. But when they were in the program, they weren't allowed to listen to that music. So I was still very sheltered in that sense, but there would be a lot of conversation. And of course, you know, you go out to the mall places, you hear music, you know what I mean? And you know what that is, but it's like, it was taboo in, in our homes and we, were, we weren't allowed to have it at all. Right, so I understand. So it's more of like homeschool almost versus going to a public school and then you see like everybody have like these different things it's kind of like you guys are more on the same level within the group exactly so you said that um your mom didn't agree with all of the religion right but at the time she was trying to be a good wife and 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 be the submissive wife and everything um now that you guys are out of it uh she's able to admit it it almost sounds like you guys came out of a cult cultish kind of in a way yeah it borderline Pretty much like the way he he cultivated the community was very much like that. You know what I mean? And then when people would want to leave, there was, you know, they early on, they would be kind of ostracized. I think later on, he learned to just, you know, if people want to go, they they, they, they let them go. You know what I mean? You can't keep people in a community if they don't want to be a part of a community. But the problem is, is he was so he ended up being brainwashed so much by the religion that in his heart, he felt that was the right thing to do. And these days he's uh, out of it as well, or? Yep. He's far removed from it. He actually lives in the Philippines now. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) (laughs) So what was that experience like to, to go from one extreme to the, to the next, like, and to witness that, like at what age were you when they finally let go of the religion? Um, this was about fully, fully, um, I want to say, So I remember 2016, my family was living in Orlando. I was in New York and I came to visit. And that was like, right when, when I came to visit was when Pulse happened. Um, and I remember my dad still having beliefs about homosexuality, you know, connected to religion. Um, I would say sometime after that, it started to dwindle down. But at that point, I don't think he attended church anymore. You know what I mean? It was like if he was reading the word or trying to get, you know, fed was what they call it. Um, it would be online or whatever, something like that. So more of like a self-study and, and yeah, self-practice. Yeah, but, gotcha. but now he's he's evolved past that now. And um, for you, when did you let go of it? Because you, you said that you moved away on your own and everything, right? Yeah, I didn't fully let go of it because even though I left it and my, my mentality was like, well, you know, if I'm going to go to hell, I'm going to go have a fun. You know what I mean? But that that still wasn't correct thinking. That was, that's religious programming. So I fully came out, uh, I would say 20, 2012 is when I started having, um, a greater spiritual awakening. Um, I had, uh, physical manifestations too, of my mind changing the protein synthesis in my, in my, in my brain, actually breaking down and new protein synthesis forming to create this new, um, evolution, evolutionary state that I'm in. Um, so from 2012, um, I would say, yeah, about 2012. So what was the conversations like with uh, your mom and your dad after that? Like, have you guys spoken about like the way that you grew up and those kind of experiences and now? Oh, we talk about it all the time. It's it's like the number one topic of conversation, you know, because as as a family, we're all still very connected, close. Um, And even though, you know, there are certain things my dad's doing that I don't agree with and, you know, family stuff. But at the core of who we are, there's always going to be love at the core. Um, so it's, you know, we're all, we all understand we're on this journey together and we are, we're not only blood family, but we're a soul tribe. So we're here to assist each other, um, in Ascension 
and and to just learn and grow. For you, can you explain that spiritual awakening you were talking about in 2012? So my mom gave me a book by a lady named Dr. Caroline Leaf. And the book, um, she's a Christian lady, but she was able to break down um, quantum physics, science, and and using scripture too, and and how and and how it relates to the mind and sickness and disease in the body, and how sickness and, and disease is comprised through the mind. So, learning that that was my journey into quantum physics. And um, once I started learning quantum, I mean, quantum physics messed me up because I I absorbed it and I understood it, and I started conducting myself in the world like that. But then. When you start doing that and you're in a world where people don't understand and they solely operate on physical 3D, then you can look crazy, you know? Right. Yeah, definitely. I can understand like the more that you're going against the grain that and the more you try to explain yourself, a lot of times the crazier you look to people that uh, are used to kind of like being sheep and like, you know, carried along. Exactly. (laughs) Mm -hmm. 